Good morning everyone! So today I am doing another first impressions for you guys and today I'm going to be trying out a new cushion from Iope. So I have done reviews on Iope cushions in the past. Some of them have been hits and some of them have been misses. The cushion that I am going to be reviewing slash doing a first impressions on today is their new version. So this is the Iope Air Cushion Flawless. So. Let me tell you guys my thinking behind this because I believe there are four different formulas. What are the in-betweeners? Oh, it goes from sheer perfection matte to flawless and I decided to pick out flawless. The packaging looks like this and it has a beautiful rose gold gold uh, band around the top. Couldn't think of the word. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks like it'll match. It's very warm, let me tell you that. So this is designed with a honeycomb type of cushion, which means it's supposed to disperse the foundation onto the puff more evenly, and the honeycomb texture also prevents the foundation from sinking to the bottom, so you don't have to deal with flipping your puff over and over again to get the all the foundation out. So without much further ado, let's get close up and personal so you guys can see what my skin looks like and how this covers. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I have this honker of a pimple on my chin and it hurts. So also, I have a dry skin type and... I am a, <laughs> forgot what I was gonna say. I am a MAC foundation shade. I'm about an NC 20 to 25. Um, during the winter times, I'm usually closer to a 20, and then during summer, closer to 25, 30. So that's kind of what my skin looks like. Let's go ahead. Woo, it actually translates onto the cushion. That's kind of cool, or the puff, I should say. Okay. This smells, what does this smell like? Does this smell like the other ones? Sorry guys, I always have to smell things. Yeah, it kind of basically does, I think. Wow, my old eye of cushions are dirty, I need to clean them. I like that this is a warm tone, however, it doesn't look too orangey or yellow. This is actually a very, very nice, warm, undertoned cushion foundation. So that was pretty quick to blend. So you guys can see, the finish is beautiful. All right, I saved the best part for last. We are going to actually test how much coverage this has on this here, so let's get close. So this is what the cushion foundation looks like all over my skin. I would say that it has more of a matte feeling finish, meaning it feels like it adhered well to the skin, and I also feel like it doesn't look overly shiny. As I do with all first impressions, I don't have any primer on my skin, I'm not going to set it with a powder, and I'm not going to use a concealer. The only thing that I have on my skin is my morning skincare and some sunscreen to add a little bit extra SPF protection because I wear sunscreen every single day. And so yeah, this is what the finished look looks like. I think it's a fairly good match to my skin tone. It doesn't feel sticky, it's very lightweight. Although I will say I'm a little disappointed with the coverage. Um, I can still very easily see this pimple down here. I don't feel like this has a spectacular amount of coverage considering this is meant to be the highest coverage cushion foundation in this new Iope Air Cushion line. So yeah, it's definitely not high coverage. I would say it's like a medium at best. It is now 10.35, I'm actually applying this fairly late. And so I will check in with you guys throughout the day to share with you guys how this is wearing on my skin. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. My check it, check it, <laughs> second check in of the day for the IOPE of Lotus Air Cushion XP. So it is now 3 oh crap, 3 30. If you guys can see that. So I'm actually checking in quite late. 
Um, I've had this foundation on my skin for about five hours, so it's definitely halfway through the day. I'm seeing some changes on my face. I'm gonna share with you guys kind of what's going on, so let me get closer for you guys. I am not necessarily really liking this cushion foundation. As you can tell, it's definitely got quite a bit dewier. Actually, I don't mind the dew or the glow so much because I think it does have a bit of a healthy glow to it and I could see why someone would really like this. So if you prefer kind of a dewier or glowier foundation, I actually think the finish of this is still fairly pretty and has gotten significantly dewier though, which makes me concerned for the rest of the day because like I mentioned, we are only halfway through the day. This pimple has been out all day. This did not cover it at first, and so this is kind of my issue, and I'll go over it just very briefly because I'll probably talk about this at the end of the video, but if this is supposed to be the most highest coverage of this range, it's definitely not high coverage in general. It's a cushion on its own. I don't think it's a terrible cushion so far. I just, if this is a high coverage cushion, it's supposed to cover acne, and it's definitely not covering my pimple. It's been red and out for everyone to see. Also, this will kind of give you a good indication of the feeling of this. It does feel a little bit greasy in a sense, and you can actually see my mascara on the bottom lashes transferring onto my cheek here. So I'm gonna leave that for the rest of the day so we can see if it gets any worse. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys some close-ups. So yeah, you can still see my pimple here. It's very visible. And then here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's definitely a little bit sticky. It doesn't transfer, which is good, let's see. But it's making my mascara smudge, so it is kind of greasy. And we can, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is creasing, like, um, but, uh, but, blah, can't talk. <laughs> it is creasing around my nose and in my laugh line, so definitely not a good thing. So I'm doing my final check-in of the day for the Iope Flawless Air Cushion and it is 536 which means I've had this cushion foundation on my skin for about 7 hours today which is not is close to a full day of wear but I'm going to share with you guys kind of my thoughts on it and in general what I think. So again, it's definitely not high coverage. It's very it's medium at best and that's kind of what turns me off about this cushion foundation personally because if it's advertised as flawless, meaning it's going to have the highest coverage and it just doesn't, it's just kind of, you know, you buy this cushion for the high coverage and you're not necessarily getting high coverage. It's definitely gotten a bit greasier, which I was expecting at my second check-in of the day. And you can see my eye makeup smudging more around my eyes, kind of exactly where my lashes kind of touch down underneath my eyes. It kind of left a little, leaves a little smudge, so it kind of shows you guys that this is a little bit of a greasier foundation. As you can see, my skin does have a bit more of a sheen. So overall, I don't think this is a terrible cushion. I think it's just not what it says it's supposed to be. It's definitely not a flawless cushion. It's all right. I mean, it's not something that I would probably recommend. It does have a pretty finish for those of you guys who do prefer something with a bit more of a glow or something that looks a bit dewier. On my dry skin, it doesn't look terrible, but obviously if you have oilier skin, this is just going to slip right off your face. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and try to test this with a concealer and powder and let you guys know how this goes. I do this sometimes just if I kind of want to give cushions more than one chance. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the close-ups. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's also pretty much worn off my skin. I don't feel like I have a lot of it left. Under my eyes, you can see those little spots. It's definitely creasing around my nose and in my smell line. This looks awful. And yeah, you can just see the smudging. So like I mentioned, I wanted to test out the Iope Air Cushion Flawless one more time, so I applied it how I would normally apply my foundation. So I used a little bit of sunscreen, I applied some concealer where I felt like I needed a little extra coverage, and then I also went back in and set everything with a powder because obviously, as you could see from the first go with the Iope Air Cushion Flawless, it was a bit oily and greasy, so we're going to see how this goes. I also applied a bit of bronzer and of course some blush just to kind of finish off the look and that's how I wore it for the day. So overall I think I wore this whole look for about 8 to 9 hours. So this was what it looked like 
from the beginning when I first applied everything. You can see it looks pretty smooth. I don't have that pimple anymore, so it's kind of hard to gauge the coverage, and I'm using concealer, obviously. And here I am 10 hours later showing you my beautiful hair. Do you like? And this is kind of what it looks like. And I'm sorry it's a little overexposed here, but in general I kind of had the same thoughts. It's it's okay, it's not like a fantastic, amazing cushion foundation. Not something I'd highly recommend, but if you wanna test it out, I don't think it's like the worst cushion foundation ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!